You know, I've always been focused on the challenge, and that's what motivates me, absolutely, is the idea that this seems hard, and it's hard for people, and I want to help. AI has become a pretty big buzzword. Artificial intelligence, deep learning, that's going to solve all of our questions. It's going to do everyone's job for them. And my experience is, is that if you had any idea what the state of the globe's data is, there's no way that we can train machines to do everything for us. We're just so much smarter than any algorithm really is. My name is Greg Apker. I'm a senior deep learning AI engineer. We take data that's being streamed off of our instruments up into the cloud and develop algorithms that can kind of turn on red, yellow, and green indicators. You can imagine your car has a check engine light. There are algorithms that are interpreting sensor data coming out of your engine to determine whether or not that light should be illuminated. We're effectively creating remote check engine lights for our customers and for our mechanics. To be successful as a data scientist or a machine learning engineer, it really helps to be inquisitive, to frequently ask, yes, but why? Stubbornness or maybe stick to is important because these things take time and you don't know when your aha moment is going to happen. And so being confident enough to know that it's lying in there and determined enough to go find it and finally patient enough to wait it out. I arrive fairly early just to kind of get a start on things before the office is in full hustle and bustle. And that allows me a chance to kind of organize my thoughts, look at my calendar, see where I need to be for the day. It allows me to review results of analyses that may have ran overnight. As the day picks up, I'll have meetings with stakeholders in the various projects and make sure that we're aligned on these set of analyses will answer this specific question. This is the question you're trying to get at. After we've had those meetings and we've, we've talked to the people that we need to talk to, then it's time to roll up our sleeves, sit in front of the keyboard, and start coding away. I play a lot of sports. I really enjoy tennis, soccer, football, basketball. I spend a lot of time with my dogs. And of course, there's a dodgeball tournament every year, which is a lot of fun. You know, there's a couple of different techniques that I've heard of that people use to prepare for dodgeball matches. There's, of course, the movie Dodgeball. Some people study that uh, deeply. Other people will listen to jock jams and, and really get themselves amped up. As I've gotten older, stretching has become a bigger part of my pregame. Far and away, working with the people at Illumina is my favorite part about coming to work every day. The people here are extraordinarily bright, amazingly motivated. They're also incredibly generous people. That kind of environment I've found is, is actually pretty rare.